Esselamu Aleyküm ve Rahmetullahi ve Berekatuhu. My dear brothers and sisters, friends of my life, friends of my heart, I thank and praise Allah Ta'ala countless times that one more time we are all together in a discourse to talk about Allah, to do the zikr of Allah, to explain what happiness and joy is, An individual may be either on the path of Allah or path of Satan. My dear brothers and sisters, everything starts with the making the wish to reach Allah. You all had a spirit that was blown into you from Allah as a trust. And Allah commands that trust to be redeemed back to its owner. What Allah wants is for us to make the wish to redeem that spirit back to Allah and everyone to fulfill that. We say saint. To be saint means to send the spirit back to Allah. What is it that we can send to Allah is nothing but the spirit. That spirit has to return back to Allah either before death or after death. My dear brothers and sisters, spirit is a trust given by Allah. And Allah, our owner, is asking us to redeem that spirit back to him before death. Allah Ta'ala says, وَنَفَاهَا فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِهِ Indicating that He belongs into human beings from His Spirit. Allah Ta'ala says, I belong into them from My Spirit. Everybody is born. Of course, without a spirit, but during their birth, Allah certainly blows a spirit directly from His own spirit, and that spirit takes the form of that physical body immediately. And the spirit immediately fills the physical body, every corner. My dear brothers and sisters, what is it that Allah Ta'ala wants? What Allah Ta'ala clearly wants is human beings who are blessed with His Spirit to be happy. What Allah Ta'ala wants is the Spirit which is given to us as a trust of Allah to return back to Allah, which will be series of events with our simple wish, saying that, Almighty oh Allah, I'm willing to render my spirit back to you before death. 
Allah Ta'ala wants those series to end with the spirit to return back to Allah. That's what Allah initially wants, wants from us. That's the submission of spirit. Then Allah Ta'ala wants our physical body to be submitted to Allah. Then Allah Ta'ala wants our soul to be submitted to Allah. And finally Allah Ta'ala wants the submission of free will to Allah. What if we fulfill these requests of Allah? Well, the individual becomes happier, happier and happier. Submissions are the steps that we climb. You climb those stairs one at a time climbing up, my dear brothers and sisters. Your spirit reaches Allah. It is better to say Allah delivers the spirit back to himself. But you do your zikr for Allah to make that happen. You say Allah, Allah, Allah loud or silent zikr. But both are valid. What does zikr do? Zikr makes your spirit reach Allah using the path of Allah goes through first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh of the heavens going through seven worlds at the seventh of the heavens and spirit to reach Allah and submit to Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, is everything so wonderful or is it only me feeling this way? Whenever I'm with you, I feel that great joy and happiness. I wonder if you share the same beautiful notion with me. Are you happy, my dear brothers and sisters, when you are listening that I mention Allah? Are you happy during that time? That's what Allah wants, your happiness. And Allah Ta'ala wants everyone to get to the point of happiness. Individual who submits spirit to Allah is the owner of halfway of happiness. Individual who submits physical body to Allah is 80% happy. Individual who submits soul to Allah, since there are no more vices in the soul's heart, is the 100% owner of happiness. Vices in the soul's heart and your stress and unhappiness are parallel to each other. The design which is opposite to that is the relationship of righteousness and your spirit. Those who wish to reach Allah and do zikr for that reason, eventually the spirit submits to Allah, reaches Allah. Spirit reaches Allah and submits to Allah because spirit belongs to Allah. And in any case, it will certainly return back to Allah. What provides that is our single wish that we make. As long as an individual doesn't wish to reach Allah, Allah wouldn't deliver that spirit back to himself. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah wants the best for everyone. Ruhunu 
kendisine ulaştırmasıyla başlayan bir vitiridir. And everything starts with Allah's delivering the spirit back to himself after we make the wish. Then we will submit physical body to Allah. Then we will submit soul to Allah and finally the free will. Then the individual will be within the control of Allah. Individual who does what Allah have him do. Then he will also say, is everything so wonderful or is it only me? My dear brothers and sisters, In regards to everybody's happiness, Allah Ta'ala designed the best. Wants everyone to submit their trusts, first their spirit, then their physical body, then their soul, and finally their free will. Allah Ta'ala wants everyone to complete these unities for their own benefit. My dear brothers and sisters, the best part is where also free will submits as a completion of all submissions. Allah Ta'ala'nın what Allah wants from all of us is very cut and clear. One thing, that is our happiness and joy. Happiness cannot take place without cleansing of the soul. Cleansing of the soul means receiving 51% glory accumulation in the soul's heart. Purification, on the other hand, means receiving 100% glories in our soul's heart. And for that, the individual has to get to continuous zikr stage. My dear brothers and sisters, Starting from making the wish to reach Allah, Satan will try to stop the individual from reaching Allah. Individual who makes the wish to reach Allah, Satan does anything and everything to stop that individual, but it is not possible for him to succeed. Simply because Allah Ta'ala says, whomever wishes to reach me, I deliver them to myself. In other words, this is not within the control of the individual. After wishing to reach Allah, Allah gives the love of zikr, love of praying, love of loving others. Allah Ta'ala gives that great joy of loving Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, what Allah wants is everyone to make the wish to reach Allah before death. And through that, it leads to have half of the world happiness. Vices in your soul's heart with every 7% decrease. And with their elimination, those eliminated vices will be replaced with glories. In other words, when first seven percent virtues take place in your soul's heart, that means seven percent vices left the soul's heart. When second 7% takes place in the soul's heart, that means second 7% vices are eliminated. 
As a result, we get to guarantee of Allah. Seven times seven percent virtue accumulation and two percent mercy accumulation at the initial stage. Forty-nine percent plus two percent means fifty-one percent glory accumulation in such heart. My dear brothers and sisters. I'm here for your happiness. Allah Ta'ala commissioned me with the duty of teaching you how to make the wish to reach Allah. Why did I say to teach you how to wish? Because if you make the wish, Allah will take care of the rest. If you wish, Allah will deliver the spirit back to himself. Allah will give the love of zikr, performing prayers and all other religious services. Allah will take care of the rest. What he wants is all people to be happy. Simply because he blown into each and every one of them from his spirit, making them closest creatures to Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, when people are born, Allah certainly blows into them from his spirit, and the spirit takes the shape of the baby. As the physical body grows, spirit looks just like the physical body since it fills the physical body. Whatever your appearance is right now, your spirit looks just like that. It is the same thing for your spirit as well. My dear brothers and sisters, what Allah wants is all people to be happy, to live in peace, to have all beautiful notions, everyone to love each other, Love is the symbol of happiness and hatred is the symbol of unhappiness. Whoever prefers hating other people instead of loving them, if he is only angry to them and holding grudges against them, then that cannot be the individual who could be on the path of Allah. Those who are on the path of Allah are the ones who wish to reach Allah and as soon as they wish Allah gets them go through deep change and that change is a gift of all mankind. Making the wish to reach Allah means that soul's heart to be cleansed 51% at least. If the individual has 7 to 8 months of a lifespan and if the individual truly wish to reach Allah from the heart, it is not possible that spirit not to return back to Allah. Why is that? Because Allah Ta'ala has a promise. Allah Ta'ala says, Whomever wishes to reach me, I deliver them to myself. My dear brothers and sisters, in regards to that perspective, 
we need to think what a beautiful world we'll live in. Why? Because as the vices in the soul's heart decrease, the influence of Satan on that individual decreases as well. 51% glories means 51% of vices to be eliminated. In other words, the individual to have beautiful notions of Allah more than 51%. Why does Allah Ta'ala obligate much zikr after just regular zikr? And also obligates continuous zikr, doing zikr uninterruptedly, continuously. What if that is the case? Then the individual even goes to sleep in zikr and when he wakes up, he still does zikr. That is called continuous zikr. Glories keep coming into the heart of such individual from Allah. Glories constantly coming in fills the soul's heart and doesn't allow any darkness to get back into the heart. That means the individual disconnected himself or herself from Satan 51%. And Allah Ta'ala guarantees all the way to this point, saying that whoever wishes to reach me, I deliver them to myself. That means whoever wishes to cleanse the soul, I cleanse those souls. Because all the way to 51% cleansing of the soul's heart is taken care by Allah. 49% virtues and 2% mercy. Everything starts with 2% mercy accumulation then all the way to 98% virtues accumulate in the soul's heart. My dear brothers and sisters, to talk about Allah is such a beautiful notion that when I talk to you about Allah, I have that great joy. And the reason for that great joy is Allah to invite all people to that. Allah wants everyone to do zikr, everyone to get to continuous zikr, and everybody to have that continuous happiness. Even though everything that I tell you is a fact, majority of the people are still unhappy. My dear brothers and sisters, and this is based on the efforts of Satan and every Satan that is around every individual. Every second, not one, but there are several Satans around you. And with all their efforts, they try to have you do things that will cause you to lose degrees. Satan and his associates want every human being to go to hellfire along with them. Yet, what Allah wants is everyone to be eligible for heaven. Therefore, within the Torah, Bible, and the Quran, Allah Ta'ala put the same commands. Seven stages and four submissions. Making the wish to reach Allah, pledge of allegiance to a religious guide, spirit to return back to Allah, 
submission of physical body to Allah, submission of soul, becoming a muhlis one, pure one, and submitting free will to Allah. And everything starts with the wish to reach Allah. If the individual makes the wish to reach Allah, then will be performing necessity prayer and ask a religious guide from Allah, and Allah will show the religious guide to individual, and the individual will find that religious guide and take a pledge of allegiance to him. After wishing to reach Allah, as we realize, the second stage is pledge of allegiance to a religious guide. Taking a pledge is a necessary concept for glories to be able to get into the soul's heart. Individual who didn't take a pledge of allegiance cannot go through cleansing of the soul because the individual has not received the current and therefore the cleansing of the soul cannot start. My dear brothers and sisters, it is Allah for glories to accumulate in the soul's heart of that individual and it is Satan causing darknesses to remain in the soul's heart. Satan wants 100% vices to be intact in the soul's heart of all those people and for them to go to hellfire along with them. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah Ta'ala loves you very much. And you are the first circle around the Imam of the time. And that is a great blessing of Allah, my dear brothers and sisters. You all learned your religion. When you get to highest level of religious clergy, you realize that, that they do not know what you know. And you will realize that, that they don't even want to know. My dear brothers and sisters, the concept that is called knowledge is nothing compared to knowledge that comes from Allah. Irfan is the special knowledge of Allah. As we say, some people have knowledge and knowledge of Allah. To be the owner of knowledge of Allah means to be in tasawwuf. And tasawwuf means the art of being able to submitting spirit physical body, soul, and free will to Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, there are different levels of art as well. There is art and there is fine art. someone to be able to get to the point that Allah wants for them is through making the wish to reach Allah. Individual who wouldn't make the wish to reach Allah cannot experience this joy and this beautiful notion. That is not a possibility. Whomever makes the wish to reach Allah, Allah will certainly give the love of religious guide to that individual 
doesn't matter where that religious guide is, the individual will seek that individual and will take a pledge of allegiance to him. The way for that is to perform necessity prayer, Salatul Hajj, and ask a religious guide from Allah. Whoever performs necessity prayer to find a religious guide and asks from Allah, if the individual is sincere, then Allah will certainly show the mercy to that individual. And with the love of Allah, the individual will seek that religious guide and take a pledge of allegiance to him. And he will realize that he loves that religious guide tremendously as his love will be increasing from day to day. And that is only natural. Love to increase. Because in that context, the individual religious guide and Allah will make it trio. But the individual who is not wishing to reach Allah, who is against that idea, that is also a relationship of a trio, the individual, individual who is pulling the individual to that terrible point as an assistant and Satan. Then the relationship of the individual religious guide and Allah and on the opposite side Individual, Satan, and those people who prevent others from making the wish to reach Allah. Because if the individual doesn't make the wish to reach Allah, that individual cannot be saved from hell. What is it that Satan had done, my dear brothers and sisters? Eliminated wishing to reach Allah from Islam altogether. What is left is performing prayers, fasting, giving alms, going pilgrimage, and shahada. Five pillars of Islam. Six, actually, to make the wish to reach Allah, and seven, to submit. Submission of spirit, submission of physical body, submission of soul, and submission of free will. My dear brothers and sisters, on one hand we see Satan working with all his power and preventing people from wishing to reach Allah and finding their religious guides. Where is it that we are right now, my dear brothers and sisters? We have such religious education today that doesn't have wishing to reach Allah, pledge of allegiance to a religious guide, spirit submission to Allah, physical body submission to Allah, submission of soul to Allah, becoming a muhlis one and submission of free will to Allah. None of these are in such religious education. What we have is only five pillars of Islam. My dear brothers and sisters, that is really sad. I wonder if you can conceive how dangerous that is. Islamic world to be limited with five pillars of Islam to be literally to be incarcerated. which brings Islamic world to the point of no knowledge where Islam used to lead in regards to knowledge and science not only in physics but beyond physics 
Therefore, there is no more physical or facts beyond physics today. Let's take a look at our ancestors carefully. If the Ottomans were able to conquer the world, behind that was Allah and religious guides of Allah. Next to every sultan, there was a lala, there was a religious guide. In other words, individual who was capable of talking to Allah and delivering the commands of Allah directly to the sultan as a friend of Allah, a saint of Allah. In Turkish, evliya is the plural of vali, a friend, yet it is used in a singular form. When we talk about saints, we say he is an evliya. Actually, we should say he is veli. And if we are talking about plural or friends of Allah, then we can say evliya. Because the word veli is singular and evliya is plural. My dear brothers and sisters, within such a design, we need to ask each other the same question. What is it that Allah wants from us? What Allah wants from us is happiness. And how can we be happy? We can be happy with Allah. My dear brothers and sisters, an individual to be able to be happy cannot be without Allah. Anybody can go through temporary pleasures, but it starts and it ends. Yet, happiness should be continuous. And that continuous happiness cannot take place without being related to Allah. Because the soul of the individual is still under the influence of Satan and his associates. And the individual will be constantly bothered by them. And therefore the individual cannot experience happiness. What is it that Allah wants? Everyone to get to continue sicker, not to leave any more vices in the soul's heart, and due to that to have higher level of happiness. What is it that Satan wants? People not to go through cleansing nor purification of the soul's heart, and the soul's heart to remain with darkness of Satan. And therefore the individual to be constantly unhappy and stressful. My dear brothers and sisters, therefore I'm here. To let you know how much Allah wants each and every one of you to be happy. Allah wants everyone to be happy. His invitation is for everyone. Initially with Jews, then with Christians, then with Muslims. Seven stages and four submissions. My dear brothers and sisters, Within that magnificent design of Allah that wants Allah from you, we wish you all submit your spirit, physical body, soul, and free will to Allah. Asking that from the Almighty, I finish my statements and leave your presence. Asking Allah Ta'ala to grant upon you infinite happiness. Love you all very, very much. May Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.
Love you all very, very much.